So we're leaving Lazy Days RV Park. We were parked right over there. And we're sitting here on the side because we're trying to find an RV repair service that will repair propane because our propane is leaking and we're running on solar right now. So we have to get to a, a place to check the propane. Our uh, alarm started ringing this morning and there's a propane leak. So I have my Atlas here and Mike is looking for some information to see if we can um, troubleshoot it and see what's going on. I know the other night, um, Christian got up at night and he turned on the water heater instead of the water pump and he let it run all night and that's when um, we while were, we were on level um, Mike smelled the propane he woke me up and it's right under my bed all of that propane stuff inside my bed yep so we thought that it was if we just you know if it was just for that day and then we put it on solar traveling here but we forgot that we had to check that and now that we turn, turn it on propane it started leaking again so we have to get to a place and get that fixed after two relaxing days at the rv park we're ready to go start our journey get out there and now we got to fix something else so this is rv life on the road another day of repairs and Mofa's hat and sasha's hat and christian has to do school today because he's starting school today yeah. hey guys we stopped here at the walmart like about a mile or two away from where we were at the RV park. Mike is inside now looking for the propane leak. Checking for the leak right now. Can we turn that light on up turn there? Turn that fridge off. Okay. It's trying to turn on. Okay. Thank you. Okay. There's nothing propane related under here. No? Yeah. Except for that. Or give me that soapy water bottle. And then, uh, we just bought that little bottle at Walmart. Yeah, and then go turn on the propane. Turn on now? Yeah. Coming from there? Oh yeah. yeah. This is on Spark. Oh, they're, what is, what they're is all it? off. They're all off. No, Why is this, this one's, on? Why is this that one's on? on? Oh my gosh. I bet you that was it. I bet you anything that was it. How could that be on? I haven't even used a gas hook. Okay, guys, all of the drama was really right now. What we're thinking is that this burner was on the on position. And since we were at the RV park um, and we were using electric, now when we were ready to leave, that was on. So for some reason, this was on. And I don't know who turned it on or what, because this is not something that you can bump into. You have to actually push it in and turn it at the same time. The spark light is over here. So I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to Christian. I don't know if he's been playing with these knobs, if he doesn't understand how dangerous this is. So we're, we'll, we'll have a talk with him today. Right now I have this um, water heater. I have the water heater taped up so it doesn't accidentally go on again. It's a good thing anyway that we ended up stopping here and checking under the um, bunk because we noticed that when this is filled up over here, for some reason water is splashing in here. It's splashing into, I guess because there's a hole here and there's water coming in through here or something. This could be a ventilation. I'll have to talk to Mike and see if the reason for this hole is just the venting from, from the batteries. I wasn't aware of that, but when Christian put water in here today, he got water in here. And this is the tube that vents the batteries out. And then water got in here today. So he has to be really careful when he's filling up the water, or we're going to have to cover this temporarily while the water is getting filled up, because there was water in the battery tube, the ventilation. So that's something. And I didn't know, and I have to know these things, and he has to know these things. So good. Th it's a good thing that it happened the way it did, because 
got we got we got to resolve before my batteries got damaged. Things happening on the road. Oh my God, guys! I'm so excited. This, we're stopped at this picnic area in Texas. I can't believe this. Look at this. We don't need. We just dumped at the park. But look at this RV holding tank. There's an RV place here. This is so exciting, and it's free. Oh my gosh! You can actually dump and get water. Wow! I don't know why they would put that in there, though. Oh no! I don't like that they put the water thing in the sewer. But well, what the heck? Look at this, and you just pull up right here. We're having lunch in there right now. You pull up right here with your RV, and you can just dump and get water. That is so exciting! Wow, I love that. That Mike told me he said the further we go out west, the more RV friendly it is. This stuff does not exist in Florida, so this is all new to me. Look at how pretty this is. See. But we're in the RV having our lunch. Very nice. I'll show you around. Only because I feel like it. It is a nice day. They have little picnic areas here. Look at this. How cute. I love places like this. But you can stop here for a whole afternoon. With no Wi-Fi. And they have bathrooms over there. That is so cool. This is a great way to stop. It's been, they've really got nice rest areas here. In, in Texas, but they're not called rest areas, they're called picnic areas. I think that's so sweet. I really love seeing things like that. Anyway, going back to see if the guys are cleaning up or not. You finished cleaning up? <sighs> Did they clean up, Sober Girls? Pew, pew, stanky. Pew, pew, I want you to go there and see why pew, pew, they put the water hose pew, in the pew, sewer. Stanky. Go over stanky, there. Pew, pew. Oh, well, listen pew, to me. Pew, pew, danky. <laughs> Everybody, pew, pew, stanky. Pew, pew, stanky. Everybody, pew, 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 stanky song. Christian, we're going to do the pew, pew, stanky song. Do the pew, pew, stanky. Just do the pew, pew, stanky, please. Now with us, everybody, do the pew, pew, stanky. <laughs> Go over there and tell me why somebody stuck the water in the water hose. They stuck it in the sewer hose. Why is that? They stuck the water in the sewer and yeah. the sewer in the water? No, they stuck the water in the sewer. The sewer for the water or the water in the sewer? <laughs> what the fuck? We're passing by Dallas. Very pretty. One of the important things that I learned on this trip was that when you're traveling with children, it's important to tell them how it dangerous that propane is and some of the other things that are dangerous in an RV so make sure that at whatever age you tell the children what they can't touch and what they are not allowed to touch and make sure that they understand how dangerous it could be if they do Hey guys, we are now an off-grid, self-reliant RV. Subscribe to watch us on the road as we put this RV to the self-sustainable test. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoy the efforts we are putting out. As always, thanks for watching.